Hey guys, it's me, Dascro, and this is Awesome Premier League Lobby 1. Uh, I am here today with Toffees for this great action that we're going to be seeing today. Okay, so Liqu Liquid, Dre, Jorski, Bikini Model, all in the same spot. Scoom going to get lit up, and he was playing Scout. So Ollie and Hayes now have a high ground position with a lot of information. Head to head on top of a hill, facing each other, with being shot down from the other side with Bikini Model and his team. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah boy Dre, no. Yeah boy Dre gets knocked out super fast. But Scoom is taking shots uh, from the remainder. Yeah, so Dre died. But what Dre was able to do is, I don't know if you saw that, he took health, at least a quarter of health off of almost every member of Liquid and put them in a position where they have to play defensively now. Especially because they can't go over the hill because they know that everyone uh, on Jorski's team is absolutely watching to just pick off. That's, I don't really mind. They don't really mind allowing Liquid to get massacred by Tempo Storm as they just sit there and clean up the after effects. And that's Maluke goes down this time around. Scoom versus Valid. And we see Scoom nice. taking them out. Fine ways in Sigzy coming across the bridge. So Samti and Maluke going to be in a lot of trouble here. They are taking some shots at Scoom, but Scoom managing to get behind the tree with Hayes. Maluke exposed now. They've got to be careful because Drassius now knows where they are. I think that this is a very tough situation for Tempo to find themselves in. I don't know if they get out of it. And with the next circle, let's, I mean, this next circle is going to force a number of these teams uh, inward as, uh, you know, Liquid's in a good position, more or less. But here comes uh, G-Core from the southwest. It's right towards Sada Boys. Here it goes. And this is to the northern military base. Well, that's breaking out as you sort of keep an eye on that. It looks like TSM is pushing into the remainder of King when Smack and Real facing each other across one building while Fuzzface overlooks. Should be a pretty interesting fight when they decide to make that happen. It's two teams who are bleeding, trying to keep their position in this game alive. In the meantime, Odin, Thor, Roms, uh, the Alliance guys are coming in on the backs. Fuzzface turns around, gets some shots on Roms. This is happening in the middle of the military base. Yes, yeah, so while, while that was taking place, uh, uh, Gorilla Core Esports do get quite a few, with Mixie last Ooh. one up uh, on, on, his, on, on his squad. Hex 8 knocked out, Metter uh, knocked out. They, are, uh, they had, they had a, a pretty significant engagement, but I think they're going to be able to survive this, assuming that they're no longer contested. However, Insulinzo from Sana Boys, last one up. He could be able to get the, the kill here. He does. That's the that is the wipeout. Gorilla Core Esports down with the count. It does look like that Tempo Storm is engaging Liquid. Let's go to Samti. This is this is a very close fight. Samti with the health advantage with the UMP9 going against get Scoom and ends up knocking him out. Ooh, very nice. Ooh, oh no, Awen from. <laughs> Oh, uh, Awen uh, ends up ends up killing Samty. I think that was the end of Tempo Storm and of um, of Liquid. <laughs> so Penta's in a crossfire. There's still not a whole lot happening in military base. So the fight you're on is the only one happening right now. And what could you can they're, do is they're they're gonna gonna pull this backwards. Ooh, that was good. That was super good. At the same time, uh, Drax is from No Loot Gaming in in, in his. Uh, Squads pushing on up, and they are taking a lot of damage fast. And then, oof. Going to Monkey Lasange as well. With a nice kill from Pony Rider, who will try to run outside the blue. Penguin now getting took chunks very hard, as is the rest of Evolve. Pony Rider goes down to Alliance Shiv, trying to get himself out of there. He's taking fire from Drassius. He gets knocked. That'll probably be the end of Evolve as they're stuck way outside the circle. In the meantime, big T87 taking some shots at Sigzy. Sigzy going back and forth. Alliance in pole position right now. Big T is down, though. This is going to be, uh, I mean, not a, a close fight. But, I mean, this is a sort of ideal real estate. Well, at least it was. That new circle right in the middle of the hilltop. Mm. Uh, Sana boys, more like sneaky boys. Check out Alliance. They're making a big push right now. Here inside the military base, they're going into Sigzy, Hetero, and Zalendra. They're going to have to fight this and win it. Easy, easy. Yep, and that's the end of of uh, a fly Q. Right. Oh. Odin Thor goes down to Stady. 
Alliance has already managed to eliminate half of their threats. They've got to find Stadia and knock him out. Odin ticking pretty hard outside the blue. And Salenzo still in a very comfortable position on the uphill. There's the shot. Stadia goes down and makes it 3v1. Alliance wins the debacle, but they've got to push uphill into an entrenched Encelado. He's going to start to look for him at open shots right away. He knows that they're injured after coming out of that fight. Starts to fire at him, puts in some work. Now he's going to go ahead and get to that rock. He's got so much cover. He does. It's a three-on-one situation, guys. But Ancelotti's got the high ground. Uh, but if he can't get some shots here quickly, he's going to be in a perilous position. Position given away. He sees VZ. He gets the knock. He's got to run for safety, though. So now it's a two-on-one. Here come the nades. Good. Good nades. Wants the Kobe. Tosses it out. Not going to be in the six. He might see it. Nope. It does oh. knock it backwards, so oh, it could no. Kobe. BZ giving them vision. Sigzy hiding. And Solano peeking. Rob sees him. Rob goes for the shot. They know they can Here take this. Here comes the flag from Sigzy. And that's the end. That was good. That's the end. The drops have begun. <laughs> the teams are flying out of the planes. And it looks like we're going to see a pretty good spread. The plane, not everyone's favorite. So this is a low plane. It's not the worst you can see, but it cuts off much of the northern island. You jump to his vision, you're going to see he's not interested in not taking this fight. He runs right into the gun mode, or right up into the devil's mouth, and he starts shooting. Fly Q hunkered down, wants to try to take this at a distance. They've got something out in front with Hetro, trying to find himself a good position, but a nice wraparound. Larson pulls out that car 98, starts to light some people up. Larson takes a shot in the head. Fly Q with the peak, fuzz face, trying to get him from behind with the SKS. Something Larson will get picked up. Yeah, looking at Layton from Kingwin. I hope he Oh, he may be a bit exposed here. This is not looking good. Let's kind of see his angle. Now Fly Q has two other guys down. This is um clearly. This may be Kingwin may be in a advantageous position here, because as you can see, Fly Q mm. has had has lost one. It's almost as if they were pushing on to try to uh, engage, but for what for what rhyme or reason would they do that? Here comes the push. They're going to go ahead and finish the job. They do. Fly, fly Q Blue has take, to hide. He did a little bit of damage as he uh, as he jumped down, but he's hiding in this little, little nook. Right. Now, I'm watching Samty from Tempo Storm, who, who's just on the, the, mm. uh, the, the southwest corner, engaging Penta. They're pushing up right now. It's going to be a four-on-four. Four. Yeah, boy, Dre, taking some damage. Yeah, I would watch Dre. Dre's going to be their... He's their slayer, they call him. There's the guy that they almost always send into fights first. Valiant will be second in on the breach. He'll heal himself up as Samty follows. And this is how they like to do this. So Dre will turn the corner as soon as he's healed. He likes to play very aggressively. Watch him lead out. He's going to follow Valiant. Wants to try to make the breach. Yes. And they Penta going to hold the ground. This is the difference. Penta likes to defend, while the guys from Temple like to play very aggressively. Whoa! What a flank. Simsy... Hanging out inside. Great. Whoa. Genius play by Penta. Six Simsy inside of the crate. Let them run by. Smartly holds. And little by little, they just melt down the remainder. Oh! Of the Simsy gets fragged. Ultra, Ultra from Penta also engaging. Samty is knocked out. The circle is coming inside. Samty down. <laughs> Maluki gets naded and Penta holds on a really good positioning play. Choose chosen Zygote on the uphill, so it's gonna sort of watch it play out with the first eight kids. Pops back out, goes for Frost. Frost jumps out head to head with Boom. I'm watching it. Frost ends up taking out Boom. That's the end of that. Meanwhile, his team is caught in a fight with Alliance, so our boys E1HC is just stuck between a hammer and an anvil again, as this just seems to be sort of the story of their game. They can't get a break. This continuum is continuously caught between two teams. Yes, let's go to Roms. Alliance and Continuum doing the work. Ones and twos. Evan comes out ahead. Only one player from Continuum survives. Outsider may be able to play this slow if he lets the two teams of Juggernauts fight it out for Hilltop control. Yes. And it is going to be a Hilltop fight with, with that smaller circle getting... I mean, all the way on the top. Let's say I go to the top. Yeah, this is. I mean, it's... again, Vist. 
Again, the guys from TSM get less than about 10 meters that they have to progress here ahead of the blue. Smack can hold the corner. That's what he's going to do. So Smack watching the flank. Look at how he's got this angle. He knows g is going to try to run the side of the circle, and he's going to catch them when they do it. So he's prone. He's watching, and he's listening. Jempty going to be the front man. He goes point, loads up the grenade. It's going to be enough. Here comes the popping shot. Smack. Boom. One. Does get Smack knocked gets out. Smacks. But his team now knows where it is. So he's done the scout. We'll see Jempty come in to finish. He'll be able to kill Smack. Vis and Break will probably know, though. This tells them exactly where they're coming from and exactly the case. Meanwhile, Outsider is still playing the slow game. Abiza has dropped in the meantime. It's a 4v3v1 at this point in time as they're able to get up the last member of G-Core who was knocked. Meter on the res. Aim PR looking to try to find advantage. But Jempty going to have the high ground here in a second. Yes, with four seconds remaining, the circle's going to come on in. Outsider's going to have to start booking it if he wants to stay in the fight. And he's Outsider will start the run. NPR sees him, yeah. has the scope on him. Easy burn down. Wow. No way! Outsider gets a knockout. But is. That's going to open the door for Mixie to push in on Vis, break the last man standing right now. Break doesn't really know what to do. Mixie going to go outside of the circle to get the fine, gets the knock, finishes the job. Nice job, Mixie. Mm. Yeah, so we may see some military base drops and some Novo drops, but mm -hmm. I mean, this is a this is this is a, this is a south, uh, I mean, a south flight path, and one that I mean, you maybe gets a few vehicles here and there between uh, between mm -hmm. you know Milta and Pachinki, but I mean, this is not ideal. As Penta's rolling right up onto oh, King no. Win. They are. Yeah. So you see Quingen on the high ground. Gem stopping just below them. Abiza trying to get in a position to take the shot. He's stopped. Abiza wants it. There's the opening. Oh, Jeems. Jeems dreams of safety and his wish is granted as he just barely gets out of that by the skin of his chinny chin chin. Your car advantage. Noble taking shots now from Bajiki proper. That's Drassius and Artier taking those shots, but Noble again dips behind. Liquid Ollie knocks out Painkiller. <laughs> now, Mole Man is so close, so mm -hmm. close to set Destroy X. Let's go ahead and check out his perspective. Does he see them? Does he think that they're there? Does, does he realize that Rekir is just to his left? I can't I'm, get the angle. He's I, still playing it. He wants Rekir. There it is. Boom. Knocks Raker goes down immediately. Matthew comes out and fires one shot, but only reveals where he is. Molman now takes that one. Matthew That's does. the nade. Comes out. Nice nade. It's going to push Molman to the side. Molman decides to come forward. Sees the shot. Gets a one. Can he get the second? Matty who now going to have to try to hide. Comes sliding out. Goes around the back. It's switching it. to a shotgun. It's 12 gauge time. What? 12 gauge time. Molman Moment's going full breach and clear. Knows Raker's probably going back for the res. Doesn't want to allow it. They're peaking. What is the range on that moment? You crazy if man. He's, if he's got a, if he's got a, uh, if, he, if he's got a choke, maybe all right. He's got a, know. he's got a choke in four rounds of his range weapon, so he's got to be careful here. Trying to find him now. No peak available. He knows exactly where he is. He fires the shot. Oh, and that's the end. <laughs> All right, uh, we've got F Fly Q has Silky Meat and his team pinned down behind a tree in Watertown. There's nothing they can do about it. Rockets will zoom on by, but Silky, I just think that they may be completely oh, like, stuck. They don't have these anywhere to nades. go. Lots of nades, and that is the end. He hears them, I think, but doesn't see them just yet. Takes out Larson from Penguin. Lots of good movement. Hederer, if he can get the shoot down, he knows that they're crossing. He hears them. I'm going to go ahead and go to third person because they are right on top of each other. Leighton, right above Rockets. Uh, I don't know. I don't. Does Rockets know they're walking in between two teams holding this town? Moldman dies in a vehicle explosion, so he finally gets himself in a car after that wonderful fight on the hill. And ends up dying as the car explodes. Unfortunate for him. Goes down to the boys up on the hill, I believe. That's Continuum. Ooh, nice shot from Hypoc. Hypoc does take out Layton. AC working on Noble. Noble hills up to your boy Dre, playing the Slayer role. Comes straight in, hits the turtle. Turtle goes down. Your boy Dre wants it. Meanwhile, this 
kills Raptor, and the guys are just suffering because of the team pushing from behind. Method has to abandon ship, try to get themselves out. Meanwhile, Interrogate kills Valiate from Tempo, and they're down to three. It is a four-way fight between some of the best teams on the server here as they just try to get through Ruins. Yes, Noble hit. inside the circle. They'll continue to hold. Go ahead. And, and, and with the circle now descending, all these teams are going to have to move very quickly into the hillside uh, as Ruins is no longer in. As you know, and so Noble not in a bad position, but all these teams got to move quickly. NPR are getting close to Noble. They may he may be able to get a good flank on them with Noble losing two of their guys. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. What a nade. Beautiful nade to push it in. The NPR and Vis want it. Smack can handle himself, they say. We're gonna take this. They go for the flank during the res. NPR over Where the hill he? wants to finish oh. the job. Draws the fire, sees the vine, finishes it off. That's the end of Noble. The fights are breaking out all over the place. G Core holding off against Art Liar. Continuum Gaming now showing up to fight against G Core. G Core yes. getting melted from two sides. G Core in a whole world of trouble. Yeah, they they are not they, they are not in a good position. Defilade is not being used to their advantage. They're already down with one with Jim T taken out uh, uh, by out, outsider. The same outsider we saw in that round two, who 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 took out uh, who provided that advantage to G Core in round two. Liquid Ollie still waiting for his chance to potentially come out of the shack. I don't know if they know he's there. Oh, Ollie finds Valak. Valak. <laughs> Ollie goes down, but he hurt him in the process. Outsider drops down with a nice place but Papa. There's Drassius. He peeks over, switches to the scar on Papa, but it's not going to knock him down. He's got to be careful. He's going to get shot from the other side. Drops back to his team. A G Core going to see Enzo in just a second. Bikini model pushing into Art Liar. Nice nade. Is it going to be enough as they come around the corner? They want to open. Papa goes down. They knock two. Enzo going to get seen by G Core in just a second, as will Smack, very likely. Enzo going for the long <laughs> flank, but he gets hit from behind. It almost worked out. Drassius burns him down, but he gets caught in the back. Defilade cover now provided. Enzo going to crawl. He now able to call out G Core. Look at Smack. He's coming over the top. He wants to find G Core. He knows that they're there somewhere. Whoa. They're sharing a deflate. He's going to see him right now. I didn't see him. I didn't see him. Smack smacked in his spot. He's still looking. He sees to the left. Oh my God. If he doesn't spot them, it's going to be the end for him. His G Core plays super slow. Smack. Oh, there's the peak. Looking at Mixie. Mixie sees he saw. it all. Oh, oh, what a trade. Wow. He gets knocked. So Mixie goes down. Jempty going to transition. That does tell Jempty that there's no one left behind him because he knows that there are four alive. So he now has full defilade. The smokes are going to go out to allow him to try to find himself a position. So Jempty going to slide around to the side. They're going to leave Mixie. He's just going to provide a little bit of fire position. He knows what the other team is. Jorski bikini model pop are going to push together. Jempty around to the outside. He sees him first. Gets the knock on Jorski. Goes back into hiding. Beautifully executed. So thinking about going for the pickup, but he's gonna try. He knows that's gonna happen. Gets Papa almost. He's shot from the side. Bikini model wants the wrap around. It's the last man. 1v1. Jempty versus Bikini model. This is all that matters. Bikini model now kneeling. Wants to make his play. Jempty on the creep. Jempty's got the advantage on the side, I think. He knows where he is. There's the lean. There's the shot. He does it. Jempty pulls it off in a 3v1, baby.